Hi everyone. This video will help you decide whether you are asking the right questions about your artistic journey. During this video, I will explain what I mean about asking the right questions for your artistic journey. Since my mission is to invite you into the divine magic of art and music, I want you to start your journey in the best way possible. Hopefully, you'll be able to gather some ideas and encouragement that help you. While I'm talking, you'll be watching a video uh, where I am making some stamps for my pottery. I'm making my own stamps from clay and then I'll bisque fire them and then I'll use them to make designs on my own clay. So um, hopefully you'll enjoy watching that as I talk. Shall we commence? All right. So um, I want to get into this. Let's start with the wrong questions. So many people find themselves interested in starting some kind of an artistic exploration and they come into art groups or they ask their friends questions like these. What's the best material? What's the best medium? What material are you using? Or maybe, who's the best teacher? Um, can I get some lessons? Uh, the one that really comes a lot is, how can I get started very cheaply? I'm on a budget. Um, what's the best method for doing X? Do I have to do fill in the blank with a technique? Uh, the one I hear a lot is, do I have to do an underpainting? Another one is, what is my style? How do I choose a style? Or even someone who's just starting saying, I want to paint impressionistic. Or um, maybe they choose realism or hyper realism. Uh, it doesn't really matter. You can fill in the blank. So why are those the wrong questions? Well, it's not so much that they're wrong. It's that they're cringy. Um, I always cringe when I hear or read their questions, not because they're bad, but I, because I know that the answers are going to be very unsatisfying. And the answers all boil down to, it depends. You see, there's no rules in art. That's not to say that there are not best practices, but even those have been confronted by art rebels at times who turned out to have a better idea. There are no rules in art. But there are ways to begin well and to give yourself the best chance of succeeding and of finding joy in your art. Ah, joy in your art. Is that what it's really all about? Is it not about making masterpieces? Not about finding out if you have talent, whatever that is. Not about winning awards or being able to make the most beautiful painting in the world. Um, getting the attention of your friends or getting into a high-end gallery. Don't you need to make money with it so that you can justify your purchase of art materials and the time you spend on it? Yeah, no. Those are not the questions. Ask any professional artist. It's about the joy. So, what questions should you be asking so that you can get to um, that best chance of succeeding, the best 
chance of finding joy in your art. Okay, so here's a short list. The main one is this one. What is my mindset about my artistic journey? Another question that's super important is what do I like? What options are available? What's the best way to begin? How will I know whether I'll be good at or like and enjoy or stick with this? What happens if I don't know the rules? What happens if I break the rules? What happens if I try this or that? Can you see how your response to those questions will ultimately help you most to begin your art journey from a stronger foundation? They'll help you with those more practical questions from the beginning of the video. You'll be much less worried about doing something wrong or making choices that don't actually help you to improve. Now I'm going to pause talking for just a minute. I'm going to put the right questions back up on the screen. And I want you to ask yourself, which of those questions do you most identify with? Have you answered any of these questions for yourself yet? All right, moving on. Let's start with what is my mindset about my artistic journey. When I came to art, I carried so many assumptions about being an artist that were downright wrong. They didn't even have a kernel of truth. Things like talent is essential. Artistic talent is inherent in some people, and other people don't have it. I should not spend a lot of money on art materials because I might not have the talent. You have to be able to make art from your imagination only to call it real art. Real artists make great art on the first try. Those are all misconceptions that I had when I began. But I want you to consider the following. No one actually knows what talent is. No one can tell you when you get to call yourself an artist. Everyone is created, just like everyone breathes. You may not be creative in an artistic way yet, but you use your creativity to solve problems every day. Creativity is just solving problems. And you can get better at problem solving. You've been doing that all your life. You didn't start out being able to do it well either. Here's the big reveal. Artistic ability is a skill that can be learned. What is the best way to begin? Not by finding a teacher. Not by buying a bunch of expensive art supplies. Not by trying something and then deciding it's not worth it because you aren't instantly able to produce a masterpiece. Nope. Let's get more basic here. Let's begin with the question, what do you like? It may sound simple. But let me tell you a story, and then perhaps you'll understand why this is so important. Um, 
I got started in pottery in a very simple way. I saw a picture in a magazine of a big stack of terracotta planters in a potter's studio and I said to my husband, I'd love to learn how to do that someday. A year later, I was making pottery. He and I together found a way. I got started in pastel in a similar way. First, you need to know that early in my life I had an experience that made me believe I could never be an artist. I had that idea that many of us do. If I don't make a beautiful drawing that looks like the actual thing, then I must not have the talent. Side note here, we approach nothing else in life like this. But one day I saw a coffee table book of pastel paintings in the library and I checked it out out of curiosity. And the more time I spent enjoying those paintings, the more I realized that it wasn't drawing. Maybe, even if I couldn't draw, then I could just use these pastels to make swatches of color that looked like something. And a few years later, I was painting with pastels. So what you like is important. This, if I'm honest, is really what points to the fact that you are an artist. It's the thought, I like this thing. How can I learn more about it? And maybe can I do it myself? That's it. That shows you are the artistic type. Start making a list of what you like. Do you like color, detail, floral, abstract, messy things, happy things, sad things, accuracy, impressions? The list is endless. Just keep making it and exploring. And then that leads us to the next question, what options are there? If you think you might be interested in art, what art are you interested in? But there's not a best. There's only the best for you. I learned this as a musician. You see, I gave up early on becoming an artist. But I had an interest in music too, so I started to follow that path. I began with piano and then started playing flute and singing in middle school. Halfway through high school, I fell in love with the saxophone and it began to dawn on me that each person, even you, have a rich inner voice and only certain instruments will help you express that voice. You may play other instruments, but there will be a few that will be heart instruments. That's true for art too. You may experiment with many mediums, techniques, papers, surfaces, you may experiment with many things, but a few of them are going to express what's in your heart. So ask about options and be open to them. Your list of things that you like will help to guide you. Keep your mind and your heart open to what piques your interest and what brings your joy and try it all. Again, you may find that different things you want to say are better said with another medium than the one you're currently working with. Another question uh, goes like this. How will I know I will be good at this? I don't have much money to buy supplies, so I should be sure I'm going to be good at this before I spend much because I need to be able to make money with it, right? 
this is so, so wrong. But I'd say probably 95% of us who start making art as adults default to this concept. <sighs> you didn't know if you'd be good at driving either, but you learned. You didn't know if you'd be good at your job either, but you got training, you practiced, and you became better and better at it. Why should art be any different? You don't know. It's okay to admit that. You don't know if you're going to be good, but I'll tell you this. If you start with cheap, inferior, extremely limited supplies, you will believe forever that you are not good at it, that you're not going to stick with it, and that you're not going to enjoy it. And the thing is, it's not you. It's the supplies. You don't stand even a chance at getting better with crappy supplies. And no one is going to buy art made with inferior supplies because the joy isn't there. And look here, we're back at joy. Yep. Art is all about the joy. Those paintings I've created out of passion and joy are the ones that sell the fastest. They communicate. They speak. They sing. Here is the right question about your art journey. Ask yourself this. Am I ready to give way to the joy? Am I ready to let go of the preconceived notions, the bad assumptions, and to allow myself to find the passion and joy? Do I have enough curiosity to let go and explore? Am I ready to dive within my own understanding of myself and find where I've limited myself? How can I bring good to the world by seeking what more I can do? It's really all about the joy. For those of you who are Christ followers and believers, I want to remind you of that verse in Psalms that says, The joy of the Lord is my strength. That's where you're going to find your strength, where you find your joy. So, uh, I hope this has helped you to come to a better understanding of what the right questions are to ask before you begin asking, what supplies do I need? How can I get started? Who's the best teacher? Do I need lessons? What's my style? All those things come after these questions. And I'm happy to talk with you about that. Just um, leave your uh, thoughts and comments in the uh, comment section. And thanks for listening and watching my video. I hope that you were able to be encouraged by the things that I have learned through my artistic journey. I hope to spare you some of the rocks and hard places and get you along to your chosen destination sooner and easier. Do you agree or disagree? Have you asked yourself those questions? Do you know how to answer them? Do you realize it's going to take some time and some work? Probably. Well, I hope you enjoyed. And please like, subscribe, share if you enjoyed and you got something out of this. And until next time, I hope that you look for the music, listen for the colors, and awaken the wonder in your heart. Godspeed.